welcome back to my channel this is j today i am going to show you how to paint a still life art of lemon and a cup with wild wind flowers i am going to use acrylic paint from winsor and newton and i am using this 8 cross 8 watercolor notepad this is from us art supply Today I am going to use the colors black, this is Windsor blue, white, this is Telo green, cadmium yellow and cadmium red. I am gonna use some large flat brush for background and some smaller flat brush. and I will be using some round brushes choose your brush size according to your size of your canvas or the notebook we may need some tissue now let's start with the background I'm going to use blue very little blue with white I'm going to add some water to give a thin layer of background. Little more white and water. A little bit of black. We can add more water. We are going to paint a thin layer so it will dry off very quickly. We can start painting right away on them. Let the canvas absorb the water. I'm gonna add a little more white, make it a little bit thicker, and blend it with the color that we already gave. blend until you don't see the brush strokes since it's a watercolor paper it absorbs quickly I like to paint acrylic even in the watercolor it doesn't matter you can use a canvas it works same as this it may take a little bit more time to dry now let's paint the lower part it's a kind of table I'm gonna use more white a lighter version of this blue you can use, you can use white you can use any color a little bit lighter shade directly because there is so much blue in my brush already blend it until you don't see the brush strokes now wash the brush Wipe off the excess water and excess colors in a tissue. Now with the same white, check whether the background is dried, then you can paint or else wait for some more time. Now I am using white just to give the outline. My 
background is little bit wet i am going to draw the outline and let it dry you can wait until it's dried since i am going for a blue shade for the throat the painting so i'm just going to draw the outline and let them all dry You can use a pencil if you want to paint draw the outline you can trace it if you are working on a bigger canvas you can even project use a projector to project the shape and paint on it there is lot of ways to get the shape that you want now i am going to use a round brush to paint the handle i use white since it's acrylic painting you can be a little bit sure of what you paint you don't have to worry about you can correct it any time you want because in acrylic you can put layer on layer as much as you want it's a very forgiving medium don't worry you worry about messing up now let that dry let's let's draw an outline for the lemon i'm going to use yellow it's going to give a little bit green shade when it touches the blue don't worry about it we will fix it once it's over you can add as many as layer you want Just a rough background color. You can see the lemon is little bit of the color where the blue comes. Let it be there. We will give another coating and fix it. Another lemon will be easier. let them try and we will come back to it now let's paint the outline for the flowers we want to use the white since we are painting a white flower just paint the stem just for reference using white again with the flat brush wipe off the excess paint then use white this time i'm going to fill up the colors
Now let's paint some shade. I'm using black with white. This time I don't add more water, just paint. This time we are gonna paint the thick coat of paint. Just a shadow from the flowers. dry and we can add more yellow in the shadow of lemon the shadow for this one now let's go for a round brush same black and white I'm gonna give a shadow on the handle now let's go back to white wipe off any color because we are using white if a little bit of another color will be there you won't get that pure white wash properly wipe off the excess water with the tissue i'm going for white Blended with the shade of black that we gave. More white. Same for the handle. some designs on the bottom and with the white add some shadow just blend it now with the same brush I'm gonna add a thin outline layer for the handle another black just a shade
let's go for a little bit outline for the flowers wash the brush I'm going to use a smaller round brush for the other lemon this time I'm going to take a little bit black with white to differentiate the inner part Since we already added a black, don't overcoat 
the plan let it show for a little bit you can see the black there that gives that uh, 3d effect like the flower is coming out from the cup just let the black show a little it's from the back side now for the center i'm going to go for red this is the one time i think we will use red Just a finishing touch. Don't cover up all the black. Let it show for a little bit. Add a white. just a tap to give that lemon texture and a little bit white on the top to give that texture let's add some one more coat of white
gonna add some shade on the handle little bit yellow just a tap if you blend it too much it will be it doesn't give that texture of the lemon skin just a tap process try by yourself let me know how it came out thank you for watching see you next time bye